Small Nation, Big Ideas, Welsh Science Tackling Climate Change. Good morning, it is very early here and as you can see it is sunrise uh, just over the Bangor Pier there and I find myself in the Menai Strait on our research vessel, um, the, the Prince Maddock, which is the vessel that has just been with us for 20 years in fact um, and we use that for training and research. And we're leaving today because we are in collaboration with the wind farm developers and the cable layers because we are all um, in, in, in the same endeavour to try and minimise the impact on the seabed as this infrastructure goes down uh, in, in our ever so needed uh, energy transition. So we'll be looking at the glacial landscapes because the compacted bed that the glaciers have left behind will impact how stable it is for the wind farm developers and also how mobile it is and it might actually expose cables when a bed is very mobile. And so that's the second thing we'll do this week. We actually have a piece of a cable that we were given by uh, our collaborators and we'll put it on a lander. We're going to have a look at the, the interaction between the cable and the flow and the cable and the seabed. We find ourselves mapping that glacial landscape that is buried underneath the seabed and that is why we use the sub-bottom profiler that you see hanging at the back of the uh, of the deck there in the catamaran um, and we continue to do so throughout the night and we're so lucky because not only do we have the research vessel to do this uh, investigation with but we also have this um, beautiful offshore area just offshore the North Wales coast just offshore Bangor University to actually use as our natural laboratory really. We come out here and we study processes, we map things out, we share that information with our industry partners and all that knowledge, all that understanding we use together because we all share one common goal. We know that the seabed will need to be used in this energy transition but we also want that to be done sustainably, responsibly and with minimum impact on the seabed.